Uh, let's talk now about Bitcoin and XRP. Now, guys, we talked about XRP yesterday. By the way, I put out a video. Thank you so much for watching the video yesterday. One of these bite-sized bleeds things that I've been doing. I've been taking this video and cutting out the important pieces or what I think the important pieces are. And we're talking about that. So now we're going to talk about Bitcoin and XRP and get in focus with that ahead of the big U.S. crypto political events. And here is what's going on, right? Um, it appears that Bitcoin and XRP have gained notable traction besides the spotlight on key discussions and voting taking place in the nation's capital. Fox journalist Ellie Tourette, if you haven't, by the way, follow Ellie Tourette on X, highlighted a crucial day for crypto in Washington, D.C. According to a recent X post, the Senate Committee on Agriculture, Nutrition and Forestry will hold an oversight hearing on digital commodities with CFT chair Rostin Benham at 10 a.m. today. So, the U.S. Senate Committee on Agriculture, Nutrition, and Forestry will hold an oversight hearing on digital commodities with CFTC Chair Rostin Benham. So we don't know what they're going to say, but it just started, it looks like. Cur concurrently, U.S. Representative Ro Kahana is hosting a roundtable with Mark Cuban, Democrats, White House officials, and industry leaders right now. This is happening right now. These discussions are expected to address pressing issues in the crypto sector and influence future regulatory frameworks. Now, what does that do for the voting? Here's the question, right? The question is about the voting and how does that uh, how does that help us, right? If the White House is receptive to this, things change dramatically. And by that, I mean Gary Gensler will be out uh, and it won't take long. Amid all of these events, the overall focus leans towards the cryptocurrency market's performance, especially Bitcoin and XRP. Meanwhile, in a separate post, Ellie mentioned that the House is set to vote on SAB 121 at 4 p.m. However, it appears unlikely that members will secure the two-thirds majority needed to overturn the president's veto. Now, what was said was, first, that they don't have the votes to override a veto, but that wasn't a problem for the Democrats or the pro-crypto the pro -crypto people. What they said was they needed to shift and take care of what really is the problem here. And the, the problem is the SEC has authority to create rule, and the SEC doesn't have the ability to create rule. They have the ability to enforce congressional rules. They don't have the they don't even have the authority to interpret. They have to execute on those and they're not doing that. So what is probably going to happen now is later today you're going to see a bill coming out that's talking about reducing the power of the SEC to interpret rules. They have to enforce the rules. They can't just broadly decide. For example, SAB 121 accounting rule was basically they created this rule that said that a bank cannot have cryptocurrency on its ledger. They have no authority to do that. Congress is who makes that decision. But the SEC stepped in and decided that they were going to do that, considering it unsafe for banks to hold cryptocurrency. So, uh, but again, they don't get to make those rules. They've decided that they've been doing that. And now they have 121 of them, by the way. That's what SAB 121 means. There's 121 accounting rules that they've made up over time. And what they're going to do is Congress is apparently going to step in and say, you know what? You can't make rules. You're not allowed to make rules. So that means that SAB 121 will get repealed because of that. They're not allowed to interpret it. It's the job of Congress to make the laws. Laws are rules. And the SEC and Gary Gensler came in with his big bug eyes into a Senate hearing not that long ago and said, we don't make laws. We enforce laws. And then he made rules. Rules are laws, dimwit. So the crypto roundtable of Rokahana with Mark Cuban will include attendees like Brad Garlinghouse, Skybridge Capital, the Mooch. Anthony Scaramucci is going to be there. Um, and considering that the roundtable discussion will be closely watched uh, by the XRP enthusiasts as well as the broader crypto community. So a uh, flurry of market watchers anticipate Brad Garlinghouse talking about Ripple versus SEC lawsuit, which is likely to influence the price trajectory of XRP. On the other hand, the mooch's present will shift the light towards Bitcoin. For context, in a recent CNBC interview, Scaramucci predicted that Bitcoin is likely to hit 100,000 by the end of 2024. Anthony, 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 Lil Anthony. Uh, 90,000 is the number. His prediction amid a market sell-off by the German government has sparked discussions in the crypto market. In addition, the Mt. Gox repayment, which, by the way, this is one of the reasons why we're having things. Um, Bleeps, heard you and Ben are going to show up to Bitcoin Nashville handcuffed to each other. Um, haven't talked to Ben in a month at this point. 
Um, we've had some LOL, you know, memes that we've traded back and forth or anything like that. Um, but otherwise, like I haven't had any discussions with him. I asked if I could release some information about Bencoin and what was going on with Bencoin. And he told me no. Uh, and that was, well, I guess that was late June. So I haven't talked to him in two weeks. Yeah. I, I, um, I mean, we laughed when Nick DeMondi was no longer, um, what was, was no longer with, um, God damn, what's that place called? Discover Crypto. That Nick Demondi had stepped down from Discover Crypto. We, you know, we had a laugh about that. But other than that, really haven't had there any discussion or anything like that. So I, I don't know. Uh, I know he'll be there, but I'm not sure whether I'll be there or not. We'll see. Cryptonomy.finance just had an update. They are now available in four different languages. In active development are a lot of cool different updates and information about partnerships from Cryptonomy that's going to be announced very, very soon. Now, to be part of that, follow them on Telegram at Cryptonomy underscore finance and on Twitter at Cryptonomy underscore Fi. Now, what's going on with Cryptonomy.finance is nothing short of incredible. My positions on this launch pad have been just outstanding. And my contract ends November 21 of 2024. And at this point, I think that that's not even going to be the max of the bull run. So if you will, give me just a moment here. I'm going in, by the way, I've done very well on Cryptonomy. I'm going to go with the silver level contract going to end right here 19 june 2025 we're going to go three bitcoin on this move all right so we've got a bronze that's been just absolutely killing the game guys i put in half a bitcoin uh previously if you remember that was thirty thousand dollar bitcoin at that point so you know we put in about fifteen thousand dollars my crude interest so far and, and by the way i do have this is a share because it's a 50 50 split but my cut of that eighty four thousand two hundred forty one dollars right now in bitcoin so this is an incredible rate of return so far for cryptonomy.finance. So uh, do you want to be part of that? Sign up to cryptonomy.finance today.